How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and again this is my Nexus 6P that I just factory reset and we're going to show you how to bypass uh, Google's latest patch. Yes, that's right, from January since uh, so many of you are sending me the CVE patches. Let's just show you. Proof is in the pudding I guess is the way I like to put it. Let me log into my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Now let's use the same exact security uh, trick bef as before. Go right into language because none of this has been patched. You'll be able to see that it does work exactly the same as the previous video. But the newest trick is going to be once we get into settings. That's where the magic happens in this video. So just stay tuned. I'm not even going to talk about this. If you want to know what I'm doing right here, go check out my uh, last video and you'll understand. So here we go. We're going to hit add a line, get my dialer up, do my fancy dancy code, get in here, and then get into settings, right? All right, so here's the proof. Right here. See the Android version? See the security patch version? Yes, that's the latest. See, you can't get in the build number, right? This is security patch. This is what they're showing, right? Okay. Let me show you the way around it. All right, so we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into show all system settings. We're going to come down here to setup wizard, force stop it, and you'll see I've got buttons now. Look at this. Oh, fancy, fancy. Very, very cool, right? All right. Oh, look, I have a pull down. That's pretty sweet, right? All right, but if you go back in here, you still can't... Uh, get into developer settings right okay let's do that now we'll get access to developer settings which should also let us do all kinds of things like unlock the bootloader for example so to do that just come right up here to users and add a user okay set up now this is gonna set up a brand new user continue next da 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 da, -da. And I'm not even going to add an account here. I'm literally just going to skip through it. But what this is going to do is this is going to get me so that I can enable developer settings, right? So let's let this thing go. There we go. Skip. Skip anyway. I'll uh, put in something. Here, why not? T-O-M. That's me. And uh, T-O-M. Next. Not now. Next. Sure, why not? Skippity scap. And boom, I'm in, right? I'm on a user. Very cool. All right, let's get developer options turned on. Let's go back to owner. Switching back to owner. Scroll up. Go back. About phone. Eat it. Boom, developer options. Turned on. OEM unlock, enabled. USB debugging enabled. That's how we roll right there. You want to go factory read it, uh, data reset as well? Let's do that too. Why not? Boom. Enjoy. I can unlock my bootloader now in Fastboot along with all kinds of good things and fancy stuff. So take that Google. That's a bypass for you right there. That's going to wrap it up for me. A little response here to the videos that I do. I try to do my best, and I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for more like this, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.